Hey, hey, let's watch what a vegan teen eats in a week. Should be fun, sounds cool. Hello, my name is Ashley. I am vegan, I'm 16 years old, and today I'm doing another what a vegan teen eats in a week. Um, I'm not high carb, low carb, low fat, high fat, paleo, keto, any type of diet besides vegan. It's pretty like obvious that you're not that paleo. Anything that I want at whatever time I want. I'm vegan to cause no harm to the animals and much, much, much less harm to the planet. So I've done one. You do understand that humans are one. also animals. Completely different that you're this. harming you them by promoting already, a vegan I'll diet. Down below and please comment down below if Especially you like the for previous teenagers. style better or this style better. And I will do my next one, whatever style gets the most comments. So please let me know because I really want your feedback. By the way, I will be at the vegan district in Long Beach, California at the Pike on May 4th, so in like two days from this video going up, and then on May 5th I will be at VegFest LA and myself and Pip and Jardine, who also does YouTube, will be having uh. a meetup at the <laughs> social media tent at VegFest. So hard to listen to this, to this is one of the so worst sure ones yet. <laughs> that tent at that time if you want to meet us, because we would love to what see the you, fuck? and then after <laughs> we're going to be walking around too, so if you can't make it that early, that's okay. It's when our designated like meetup is, so. Love to see you there, and please come because I want to meet you guys so badly. Started this on Thursday, not in the middle of the week, but whatever. I had um, a Dave's Killer Bread Boomin' Berry Bagel, topped it with some triple berry jam jelly. I tried to spread it on in the video, but it was really hard with one hand. But that's what I ended up having, and I chopped up an apple to go along with it. For a snack, I had some of these strawberry fruit roll up thing, but it's actually just fruit then some protein barbecue chips and then for lunch i had cereal okay fruit lots of fructose sugar the grain sludge again carbs are sugar and then you've got some kind of jam again that's sugar so what did you have sugar that's kind of it how do you not understand that this is not healthy? It's destroying your immune system. So much sugar. Not even vegan nutritionists believe that it's healthy, let alone normal nutritionists. They don't understand anything, but I'm just saying that even the general shitty brainwash opinion of uh, nutritionists wouldn't say that this is healthy. What is this? I had Weetabix and I topped it with banana then some frozen berries, then some almond milk, and some mixed nut butter. It's very toxic, it's full of anti-nutrients. might be weird for lunch, but whatever. Then I ate some marshmallows, and I have something to say about marshmallows. In my last But Eat In A Week video, I ate some marshmallows. The reason they eat those nut the butters is because they crave butter, thing. Um, real animal fat. That video, we're telling me that so it is a mental illness if you try to just substitute let it. You know, there are such things it's not as possible. Um, I realized I didn't have that many vegetables that night, so I cooked up some zucchini asparagus with some spices and ate that before bed, along with some completely pointless. Berries. Then moving on to zero Friday, nutrition to altogether. And I got some blackened mushroom tacos, which I know is a little weird for breakfast foods, but I wanted tacos, and they were okay. Then for lunch, I wanted to make some oatmeal. I used quick cooking what organic oats and foxy. seeds. <laughs> we got breakfast. I got this peanut butter banana bagel. And we went out to the pier and ate our breakfast there. I have a few things to say about this peanut butter banana bagel, though, because it was really weird. Um, You're really weird. I was going to do an acai bowl, but I was super cold because it was not a sunny day, as you could tell from the video. So I ended up getting that, and it was just a normal bagel with some bananas in it. But the peanut butter wasn't peanut butter i don't know what it was it was like frosting but it wasn't like creamy frosting it was like you bit into it and i could crunch on sugar granules um and they put a really thick layer and i tasted the peanut butter plain and there was no peanut flavor it was like 98 percent sugar and two percent peanut overall it tasted fine but i got like your sick overall diet i ended up eating it all because i was hungry for dessert i had some weedabix and i also added some corn puffs um and then i added some frozen berries how is this banana, going to end well chocolate 
oat milk and normal almond milk and ate that as you keep dessert. using Moving this stuff you Sunday obviously crave real milk it's super obvious kind of random, we have this really cool <laughs> apple peeler we just why do that and I why not just some eat whole food plain food should be simple right peel this if you believe that you naturally should eat that, that it's healthy, you wouldn't be eating all these man-made foods. for lunch I made some banana ice cream, um, so I ended up putting the whole rest of this in there. I only showed half, but I ended up putting the rest of it in there. And that was with some frozen bananas. Vegan then ice cream, then which it isn't because it's not made out of cream, is incredibly unhealthy. They usually and use vegetable oils. Pretty much guaranteed I heart like disease. I was lunch all the time. That was my breakfast. That was not my lunch. That was my breakfast. I used more of that hemp seed spread and spread that onto the bread. You then keep using I these spreads. You obviously crave animal fat. It's super pepper, obvious. And total starvation for a teenager. This is sucking. This combo was really good. It's very and fucked up to look at this, make sure to make this because you're promoting it also. You can you're not keeping to yourself. So you're trying to spread the delusion. And that was a really good lunch. Some of these oatmeal squares with some coconut yogurt, which I've never tried the coconut yogurt before, but it was very good. With banana, puffed millet, and... All right, let me just sum up what's happening here. She's starving. Absolutely, this is terrible. She's obviously craving dairy a lot because she keeps using these so-called foods, which are supposed to imitate milk products, but it doesn't work because there's no nutrients in them. It's absolutely delusional because you see it and you want to believe that it is what you want but it's not and all of the foods are very high carb as it is for vegans obviously always and as a teenager if you eat so much sugar then you convert the sugar in the liver to fat and it works for a while but you're not getting pretty much any fucking micronutrients so you're slowly degenerating and to make videos like this and to say, hey, this is what I eat, and it's very obviously saying, hey, this is what you should eat too, you should save the animals as if you even could, all animals die anyway, and all you do is hurt animals that you should care about, human beings, yes, biologically we are animals, and you're hurting other teenager human being animals by promoting this, because this is unnatural, you can't get over 50 nutrients by eating this way. Just look at any teenagers who have done it for a longer time. They look so terrible. There's cases of people dying because of this. And if they try to pull it off for a few years, they're just skin and bones in the end because the liver can't take it after a while. It's really fucked up that she's doing this. It's all together. It was a great breakfast. I'm gonna have this again right after I film this video because it was amazing. These are so good and I know people might think they're free babies, but she's mostly living off of them. processed them, food. Try them out. They taste good and they're fun to eat. I keep buying nut butters. Um, I have like seven different nut butter jars in my refrigerator right now, and I need to stop. Why? I keep getting excited because I see new ones. So now I'm just trying to eat them, like spoonfuls of them, so I can eat them all. You're Currently, animal fat butter, deficient. Butter, hello, butter, hello, butter, hello. Butter, butter, Wake up. Mixed nut butter, crunchy almond butter, because one of them's smooth, the other one's crunchy. Um, that's seven. I feel like I have more. This is not seven. That's six. Oh, okay. That's my nut butters. <laughs> currently and I need to stop because I have way too many. For lunch I had this pasta salad thing and I cooked some red lentil pasta from Trader Joe's. Then I left it to cool and then added some Completely veggies. Pointless. More of this hemp seed because it is so sugar. versatile and so good. More of this bruschetta, bruschetta, this coffee, is shit. whatever it is. Then vanilla protein powder and I can't even watch this milk. anymore. There just wasn't vegan fast food options when I went vegan. But I feel like 2018, 2019 are like the years of all fast food restaurants coming out with vegan options, which is so cool. And my dad mm. told me he was reading an article oh, about- Oh wow, very convenient. You know, tacos mm. at um, Del Taco. I guess let's just not so question it and sure, continue being vegan it and, and promoting it. this video, because then I can mm. tell you guys my, um, opinion. So, what we went to the <laughs> drive-thru. I got two of the Beyond Meat avocado tacos. These are vegan as they are. You don't need to alter them. And they were pretty good. My dad isn't vegan, but he said he just they tasted like a normal fast food taco. I think they were pretty good. I mean, 
they're fast food tacos. That's what they tasted like to me too. And yeah, if you were at Del Taco, I definitely recommend them. That was my week of eating. I hope that you enjoyed it and I hope that you got some inspiration from this week of eating. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Your nerves are really messed up. In my next video. Wow. All right. Why would all of these fast food chains release fake meat? Hmm. Why? 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 Hmm. 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 Let's think about it. <laughs> there is a push for veganism. There is an agenda, right? That's by definition an agenda because they're trying to make everybody go at least plant-based. That's been happening already for many decades. But right now, definitely 100% vegan and your dad doesn't eat raw meat. So he doesn't understand what meat is supposed to taste like, just like most slaves, because they eat it well done, most likely, and can't even differentiate between actual raw natural meat and cooked meat, which is destroyed with spices. They are trying to appeal to the masses, to the slaves. And of course, they seem to go for it. And you keep eating avocados and these nut butters because you crave fat soluble vitamins, A, D, K, 2. And you're not getting them from those foods because they're only found in animal fat. That's what you want. Stop being mentally ill and listen to your body. What does your body want? Does your body want nut butters or does it want actual butter? Does it want butter? <laughs> Stop living in denial and really ask yourself, do I want butter? Why not eat it? Why not? Why support them taking away butter from people, which is the plan in the end, because they want to remove all animal foods. Do you really want to live in a world without butter? Stop living in denial and answer it for real. Okay, <laughs> thank you for watching.